What's up, GLA Double Dollar Sign East Side Glasses Malone? Big shout out to all Urban Central. I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them get in here. Let them pile in to about a thousand, and I'm gonna say what I need to say. I'm gonna get back off this thing, man. They're I mean, seeing shit swirl around the internet, you know. And like, you know, sometimes, man, y'all just gotta y'all gotta hear from the horse's mouth, man. Yeah, we almost there. We at 800, man. Ping all your friends and let them know. The game is live. I don't really, you know, I don't really even go live. But sometimes you got to, you know, let them know what's on your mind so they hear from you. So stop speculating and doing all that goofy ass shit, man. And yeah, we almost there, 900. 900 on the side page. You know, that ain't bad. Hopefully all y'all having a good start to y'all summer and shit. About 30 more people, man, and we're gonna get it bracking in here. All right, so look, we hit we hit a band though real quick. So look, check it out, man. I'm using my DMs and all on these, uh, you know, these blog sites and whatnot, talking about, you know, the West Coast ain't with you and and you ain't, you know, you ain't this and you ain't that and you siding with this. And that, when the y'all heard me say thing about who I'm siding with or this and that, I'll be in my own lane chilling, taking care of my kids out the way. That's how I made it this far in this game, man. A lot of y'all, you know, a lot of y'all fans and shit, it's kind of easy to sit where y'all sitting at your house and try to look and gauge this shit from where y'all sitting. But it's a lot of that go on in this industry, man, and that uh, you know y'all can see from uh, you know what happens to some of you know some 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 of y'all certain celebrities y'all follow and whatnot. This shit ain't what it's all cracked up to be, and because I don't want to play internet games with us all the time or be on this every day or be on these and these people red carpet or doing all this shit, I ain't I'm like that shit ain't for me, man. I got into the game thinking that this shit was gonna be one way and it was a whole other way, so I had to you know navigate myself through this shit, you know, the whole, the, my, my whole time in this shit, and I've been this since 2003, right, because that's when I got signed to Aftermath, 2003, I've been this shit since 2003, being a solid ass to everybody, and if you ask anybody, you know, anybody that really know me that's in this industry, and I'm talking about anybody, you could ask, and go ask Dr. Dre, man, like, sit Dr. Dre down, and really ask that who I am and my character and uh you know like what he really feel about me at the end of the day as a man. Like an artist and all the rest of that shit. Nigga talking about as a man. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. my Nip. But ask Nip his you know if you could ask Nip himself, he would have told you and he did tell you out his own mouth what you know I contributed, you know, to his career. From the beginning, bro. From the beginning of this shit on the West Coast, coming straight out of West Side Cedar Block, bombed in Pyro. Um, which is still my hood to this day. They never slacked, they never ran, they never did nothing but throw this shit up. I took that Cincinnati hat worldwide and I put on for comp and I put on for the West Coast. And Top Dog know what it is, Kendrick know what it is, YG know what it is, Mustard know what it is, Ty Dolla Sign know what it is, Dr. Dre know what it is, Snoop know what it is, Hit Boy know what it is. My Dom Kennedy know what it is. All the powers that be on the West Coast. And I hope my RJ, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Everybody on this know what Chuck Taylor is and what I am and, uh, you know, what I've done for the West Coast. Draco, the ruler, know what it was with me. Um, you know, we chopped it. We was in the studio. You know, RP is so. I, one thing I hate is when the West Coast that I f with um, lose their life. That shit ain't cool to me. That shit ain't cool to me. It's cool to y'all. Y'all like to pit up against each other and then go under the, uh, you know, the comments and shit. Put R.I.P. this and R.I.P. that when it die and then tell a backtrack on your and on your gaslighting ass fan fanhood. You know what I'm saying? And and tell it, you know, oh you should have y'all should have squashed that and y'all should have been bigger than that. Nah, man, a lot of a lot of y'all fans be the reason this shit is all up. Now as far as the Kendrick and Drake shit, that's Kendrick and Drake shit. You know what I'm saying? They, Kendrick do his shit, and uh, what he did last night, that shit was amazing for the West Coast. I sat back and I watched it. I ain't have to be there, you know what I'm saying, to think that the shit was cool and major. That's cool. I think it's a dub for the coast. I think that what, what K-Dot did for a lot of West Coast last night was hard as 
I think it was hard. I think it was dope of him and, and big hearted of him to do that shit for him. You know what I'm saying? But that nigga learned that shit on the way up. The same way that he looking out and look, Snoop looked out for me like that. I looked out for Kendrick like that. I looked out for Nip like that. You know what I'm saying? I looked out for Top Dog before it was, you know, Top I could have, Top Dog, um, Top Dog wanted to give me half a Top Dog. I didn't want nothing from the bro. I just wanted to put it in the right direction. Nip asked me personally what he could what he could do to pay me back for what I did for him. I met Nip on the streets. I brought Nip in the studio, Encore Studios, Burbank, California. I got on two of his songs and let him go do his thing. And Nip rose to his celebrity and to his power. But I was just a step on the ladder for something. You know, I was just, you know, there for a nigga that was already going to go to the moon. But I ain't going to try to strike Chuck Taylor and say I ain't do what I did. I looked out for everybody on the coast. Nigga, ask Glasses Malone. Ask anybody that you can ask, nigga. You go ask Big Boy, DJ Head, Fuzzy, anybody about fucking game. Chuck Taylor on the West Coast. I ain't did nothing but look out for me. That's all I did. Put on for my city. I took Compton around the world. And I did this shit for years. I did this shit for years. On my own. Every beef, battle, shootout, anything that came towards the West Coast or Compton. I stood up on that shit. Me and my you know what I'm saying? Everybody know this shit. And the internet and, um, you know, IG, Instagram, and Twitter, and all these, you know, ass, mixed emotions ass, uh, dick hopping ass apps and sites is what this shit up, man. This shit used to be smooth as shit. So yesterday, when I look at, you know, what Dot did for the city, I personally thought that that shit was amazing. He didn't have to do that, but he did it. And I thought the shit was dope. As far as my relationship with Drake, God, Drake is my brother. I fuck with Drake. Drake, if I call Drake and I told him I need this or I need that, he gonna do it. If I tell him when my kids want concerts, tickets, he gonna stay in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm a father first. And, and my loyalty is what? is loyal to me. You know what I'm saying? If you conspiring, hating, and talking shit behind my back, then it's f It's f And you know what it is with me, bro. I'm gonna stand on this shit and you can't move me unless you move me. And it take a lot to do that. This ain't the only out here pushing no lines on the West Coast. This ain't the only niggas out here pushing lines. I've been in this shit for 20 years. Standing on my toes in this shit. I've been in this shit for 20 years. 20 plus years. And like I said, everybody know what it is with Chuck Taylor. Ask around. DJ Quick. Problem. You know, shout out to them. They just putting their project out.